and welcome back to another video. Uh, my previous one I left off and I was uh, planting this field so that's what I'm in the process of doing is uh, planting this field with wheat and going over the existing cover crop and uh, right now I'm getting low on seed here in my uh, bar on the bottom there I've got 13% left and what I'm going to do is come back to one of these rows and uh, just finish this up and try and get close to where my uh, little tuk-tuk uh, uh, vehicle is <laughs> so I can go fetch a planting or uh, seed trailer. So there we go. I've been doing uh, alternating rows just to give myself more room to turn the uh, turn this big uh, tractor and planter around. So going every or going back and forth is getting a little tight. So, but uh, this is going to work out pretty well. Once I finish this row or get uh, almost to the end, uh, I will have my planter filling spout will be on the side I need it to be uh, to fill it back up with seed. And I'll be close enough to the tuck tuck and I'll have to walk a whole bunch. But uh, yeah, this field isn't taking too long. Let me scroll over and see. Uh, yeah, so almost halfway. Because uh, I'm going to have to come back and fill in the gaps that I left. Uh, intentional gaps. Just give myself more space to turn around at each end of the row. But it does look kind of cool, actually. I like how it's uh, how it looks this way. I just like seeing green in the field. So, but yeah, I love having the GPS just do the steering for me because otherwise this field would just be a mess, and <laughs> I'd be uh, yeah, I'd be making kind of a mess of things if I didn't have the GPS. So thankful for that, and uh, excited to do wheat. I haven't done wheat before. Um, so once I harvest the wheat, I'll be able to also do straw and I'll see if it's worth baling or not and uh, messing with. Maybe it'll just be something different to do. So uh, yeah, I like just doing all the different crops just to see what's, uh, what's worth doing and what just takes too much time. I'll end this for now. And get over to the tuck tuck. And park the new seed tank on the gravel so my trucks don't have to come into the field and possibly spin out. Perfect. That's exactly where I need that to be. And uh, yeah, that works. That's my little tuck tuck. <laughs> oh, there we go. It's kind of different how it starts up. Yeah, it doesn't sound too good. <laughs> Sounds like it's got a little weed, act, weed whacker engine. <laughs> Let this thing cool down for a second. I need to be careful driving that tuk tuk because uh, the tricycle uh, setup is a little unstable. Those are very loud. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. It's kind of weird how, he, how this sim does that 
getting in and out. But it's quirky. It's a very quirky device. But I, it is kind of cool. I just noticed the uh, speedometer gauge moves. So that's uh, that's nice. I don't know what's going on there. I don't know why we're just. I don't know why it's so chaotic. <laughs> there we go. You know, I should probably just set the cruise control. Or the pretend cruise control, because obviously this thing doesn't have cruise control, but. Set my throttle so I don't risk going too fast. Yeah, that sounds awful. <laughs> It's been a while since I've used this thing, I forgot, uh, forgot what it was like. Yeah, I don't know why it's freaking out like that. <laughs> Maybe it just replaces the, one of my gators. <laughs> Actually, it sounds like a leaf blower, almost, I don't know. I just need to head down to the shop here. And there's the seed trailer parked in the shed. <laughs> I just need to go fetch a truck. I think I'll do that with the gator instead. They're a little quieter. I think the tractor's good on fuel, so I don't need the fuel cart. I just need to get a go get my truck. One of them. And oh, the wind tower been spinning today. That's good. I've had some days with uh, no wind, so. So yeah, I said in a previous video, but I'm looking forward to harvesting some canola, uh, just because I love driving the combine, but also uh, I use it to make biodiesel, so I can show that process later at some point. Down there I've got the 7310, I was in the process of planting that field, uh, just the smaller plots that I use uh, to, to try different crops and things. Good. I forget what's in here. Is anything parked in there? Oh, okay. Oh, the baler. Or, yeah. Bale mover. This is probably one of my favorite pickups. <laughs> Just the nice Cummins is also a manual. Or would be a manual if I could figure out how to shift in this. Sam haven't spent time trying to figure that out, but also this thing probably needs to be washed a little bit. And I hope there's seed in the seed trailer. Uh, if not, it's going to be another trip down to the store.
there is some seed in there. Um, definitely not enough. <laughs> so I'm going to have to go buy some seed and fill this thing up real quick. I love hearing the turbo on this. Alright, and uh, of course, yeah, I always leave a forklift down here just for this purpose to help me move seed and stuff. And speaking of seed, uh, I just want to check. Because uh, I think, doesn't the pellet? Oh, yeah, the pellet is a lot more seed. Okay. Start off with two and see how far that gets us. There. Are. And the spout will be that side. Okay, there it goes. Yeah, we can pretend I'm just putting the bags in. <laughs> Where did that get us? Oh, okay. because that hopper's full. Uh, next cover. There we go. 
there one more pallet. Enough for now. Close this up. And good. Head on out. The slightly heavier trailer. By the way, I think I mentioned in the last video, but uh, I have a cultivating rig, uh, which is parked over there. I don't use it too often now, uh, unless there's a contract, uh, but that's uh, where I leave that. And the uh, combine heads and everything parked under this large uh, outdoor shed. Didn't take too long. Head over, over there. And just need to get this spout open now. The uh, okay, open cover. There we go, and now I just need to line up the spout from this to that. Like I'm, I'm maybe I'm not close enough yet. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, let me see. It's probably some 
button or something. I'm trying to think. Should just start flowing automatically. Should. Directly over top of it should be starting to fill it up. doing something alrighty might have to come back to this later this, this. now it can be finicky maybe it's not quite right yet I know it looks goofy because you've got the seat coming from like so so high up, but I thought that's what worked in the past. Alright, well, yeah, I'm kind of stumped at the moment. <laughs> I thought this is how I refilled it last time, but apparently not, so I will be back. Uh, see you in the next video.